look at the snow removal like the tractors have s like huge snow chains on them that's so cool and actually it snowed and the road is all covered with ice Whew, so i'm glad that they have those here <laughs> so last full day in yosemite we wanted to make a long hike up to the mountains to see the views and uh, feel like we have been hiking here but it's raining so heavy that we decided to not uh, go there and uh, instead of that we're gonna go and see a waterfall because there's so much water from melting snow and from the rain that the waterfalls are absolutely crazy right now so we are just like passing by one of those and then we're gonna go and hike up to another one The road is a little bit dirty, so I'm going to clean it with my brush that I took. <laughs> okay, good. Now we can keep going. Thank but you, What v. is this? Like, look at that. Like, what is this? It's the size of your head. I know, right? <laughs> where, are we, where are we going to now? Uh, this way. I don't know. So the road is a little bit under the water. <laughs> but we are not stopping. Winter conditions make this trail dangerous. Proceed at your own risk. <laughs> We're proceeding. That's for sure. Woohoo! Oh! Anybody here? Marco! Marco! <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. There are so many fallen trees. It is the prettiest place. We are so impressed. And there has not been one person. We're the only hikers right now. And it's like the most beautiful scenic route. I think today. I love this hike. No, it's perfect. So you come here and you think this is pretty, right? I think that's pretty, right? Okay, okay. And then, whoo! You can oh, see perfect. the balls. You can see the balls from the back. Like, I don't think, I don't think I'm gonna speak anymore. Thank God. <laughs> I'm <just kidding> <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna speak anymore because there are no words to describe Yosemite. No. You won't work. No. We are in the most gorgeous place in uh, Yosemite. Yosemite, but one of the most beautiful places I've ever been in, uh, ever in the world. So, the tunnel view. And we actually went to the local village store and bought some local honey. So, we're gonna go ahead and test it right now. So, it's Yos Yosemite Honey Company made it. Uh, it's a cute little beer, but. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and try it. Ooh, okay. Brand new. Brand new. It looks like honey. How are we gonna do it? <laughs> I, was like, I thought I thought it's gonna be like really liquidy. Okay, let's see. But it's like really thick. So like just do like your pinky. Okay. Oh man, you got a lot. Ah! I like this better. Oh, thanks. It's actually not bad. And it's real honey, actually. You can taste that it's real honey. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Okay. Bye. But tasting, I can't. <laughs> okay, time to go back and uh, continue my trip. Uh, so, Emma, do you know which mountain goes to Seattle? Nope. Uh, <laughs> I don't know which way is Seattle. 
But I could just stay here because look at this. Gorgeous. Why leave? <laughs> okay, I have to leave actually because I'm gonna meet my best friend Sandra and I'm so excited to see her, so let's go. <laughs> oh my god, I found somebody who probably can tell me where Seattle is. <laughs> okay, so <Sokka>, please <laughs> tell me this information costs one one dollar. So tell me. I'm kinda like can't really okay here we go. <laughs> Are you ready? For Zoltar, the wise gypsy has prepared a little poem just for you. Oh, just Life for me. is mostly from and come back to visit Zoltar for more wisdom. But where is Seattle? Get your thing. Get your thing. Oh. But where is Seattle though? Hey. He gives he gives advice. Okay. You were nature's stepchild, always managing to get in trouble. That is so you. Fortunately, you had an understanding mother who helped you smooth away your difficulties. What if somebody didn't have a mother and they said that? I know. One of these days you'll awake and to be some world and I have... Uh, back in the airport. Ooh, it's not even 5 o'clock right now. I have a 6 a.m. flight, which is terrible. Don't do it. You have to get up like at 3.30 and you're going to be miserable. <laughs> and I'm also sad because I had to leave Emma to the hotel. Uh, never know when you're going to see her again. We live so far apart, so it's kind of sad, uh, but um, it is what it is. I'm excited that I'm going to go to Seattle and meet all my best friends there, Sandra and uh, her husband Sage. So I actually prepared for that. I bought this. <laughs> it says, I actually gave a shit earlier, you missed it, and I will just pull it out of my pocket every time <laughs> she says, says something. <laughs> no, I'm so excited though, uh, I can't wait to see her. Okay, yeah, so let's fly again. Mm, so excited. I'm actually halfway with my trip right now, so yay, let's go. <laughs>